welcome to my channel my name is stephanie if you don't already know i'm a finance consultant blogger youtuber who is in london i work in Aylesbury currently it's about 6 30 a.m yeah it gets bright so fast <laughs> right now so i'm ready for work and obviously work starts at nine call hours 10 to 4 office is like 15 minutes away so i was like why not just do a little catch up with you guys ideally i should have done a recent um, get to know me video you know where i answer questions and all but because i don't talk about so many other things i was like okay let's just up chit chats kind of thing so i'm going to give you guys updates on my personal life family as well work and then a bit of love island love island is going to start soon so basically i work in um, consulting management consultants so i work on projects for finance companies i've actually worked on an energy one before i worked with um empower before where it was up gym so the things i do are actually regulated by fc um, i'm currently in aylesbury because my project is here aylesbury is just an hour from malibon 30 minutes to places like carol on the hill those places are in london so it's not that crazy and yeah that's been working pretty good my landlady is amazing she's really nice she, like sometimes she reminds me of my mom because she takes care of me so much and like we're not even from the same country or the same continent or anything but she's just downright lovely the work is fine i can't complain i can't complain at all so from work let's go into personal development recently i've been thinking of a career change because now i'm a contract so over here like in nigeria contracting works better like they literally pay you daily like nigeria where contractors are like the bottom end of the thing over here it's not like you are the top or anything but you get paid more and then you do your taxes yourself i've been loving it but the only thing is that it takes you up and down the whole place or so like a full-time role where you probably just be located somewhere your you know your career is progressing that way with contracts you can't have to take things in your hands and grab what you want you know apply for what you want do the job well because obviously there's no security there if you misbehave too much there's a way they can just kick you out with even when your contract says they'll give you 20 days notice there's a way you misbehave and they just call you something and you have to do so it's kind of like the grace of god was your common sense really and then your hard work because you're dead to actually perform i'm thinking of you know going full time obviously if i get married and stuff like i said obviously if i have kids and stuff i won't want to be going up and down it's just that even with this full time rules a lot of politics and stuff so in the end you might just prefer contracting just in your work and go i prefer contracting the money is more and it's just that when your contract is over you need find another one so i went for this course this weekend i have this folder <laughs> that i'm reading talking about reading let's go to things i'm reading right now i really love to read books on this channel i've had like some book reviews and yeah another thing during this training because it has a lot of to do with like confidence interpersonal skills and she suggested this book how to make friends and something something and guys i've reviewed this book on my channel i read the book fell in love with it and i was like i needed to share this book with everyone so while we're in the class i just like you hey, guys can go on my youtube channel you know i already have a review so you don't even need to buy the book anymore and i just felt really good that you know i was actually making good choices and books i read i read fiction as well and then obviously you guys have seen the um, fashion books i've read recently another book i need to read guys is this one the smart money woman by Arthur. you guys i literally bought this book like she came to london for an event i left my work that day that day that then i was in i was in here i was in london i was working in somewhere where i should have been working that evening and i took permission i know i need to go and see Arthur because she had already even sent me a message that she was coming to london and everything so i went and then i got this book she even signed the book <laughs> she even signed the book but i have not read it like i don't even understand normally i read like easily i don't know how i haven't read this book but now she's filming a movie for the book so i was like ah stephanie you have to go and read this book so i'm going to take it to work as well and then at the events of this book one thing i gathered there that i always share with my fellow girls is that men just have a tendency of wanting to spend like you really see men who like to see if they're not thinking of one outrageous business you know they're just wanting to spend the money doing something else so you as a woman even if there's just a way you can try save your own money even his own that's where you get it and just be saving a bit for the rainy day because these men are very daring when it comes to business and all that so yeah that was one thing i picked up from that and i i actually incorporate it in my life right now like my husband knows how much i earn but he doesn't he thinks i spend more than i actually spend do you get it? so i try to put something aside because you're married to somebody now so no matter how he wants to take care of you take care of you you have to try and think of the fact that both of you are still on the same wavelengths and then just plan for the future as the woman that you, i think it's a trait that women have that we just know how to just arrange things and just think well when they are trying to lose their heads and <laughs> all that that's one thing i know i got from this book and attending her event you guys i was even on the newspaper like there was a picture we took together and when business was it business times or business they featured her event in london like it was both of us that were standing and i've still not read the book like shame on me 
another thing we're talking about house hunting guys guess what i don't know if you've ever rented a house in london but there's no more fees you know all those 200 pounds they'll tell you agency fee 500 for this let's even reference you referencing per individual 250 pounds to check whether um i have a bad credit score as in that's it too so two of there's um which other fee um the one someone will come and inspect i can't remember in in um, inventory fee that's the name so right now according to the law so landlords and letting agents in england are said to be banned from charging tenants letting fees from the first of june and most of these agencies they won't want to tell you so the only thing they'll be charging you now is your rent your utility and council tax obviously your refundable deposit there's early termination they're not going to charge you for wanting to then changes of tenancy the cap it at 50 pounds from years ago to get a house in the uk was so easy like if you see how many of my older colleagues have houses three houses four houses now to even enter the property market they'll be giving you stress for days as a contractor it's actually not even the easiest thing that's why if you're a couple it's good for one person to be a full-time because it, it kind of guarantees that okay you guys are not going to default early then you now say okay let's rent they will now give you fee or fee as in sometimes like to even just enter the renting you pay almost to key that first time because of all the unnecessary fees so this is such a welcome development i don't even know who said this up the government i guess you know this is so 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 nice these kind of things that they should be doing in nigeria nigeria to even borrow money to buy car do is so tough even your deposit should be a maximum of five weeks um deposit and then that's if the house is lower than 50k or something just make sure you're not nobody charging any fees aside your rent your utility obviously and council so if you're a student i don't even think you're supposed to be paying council tax you know so yeah just be aware that you shouldn't be making all this crazy payments to very greedy landlords let me just show you some few things i'm loving right now mm -hmm. <laughs> plantain chips every time i go to london if i can sell it here this plantain chips i used to always tell my friends when they're coming from because i buy me plantain chips i'm not have bought plantain chips for the whole of africa for me but since this ulu ulu plantain chips have been in the market i've been loving them it has this flavor which is the sweet one it has this one which is the chili one and the plantain with chili and then it has a green one which is your ripe one obviously i like sugar too much to be eating a ripe plantain it might even be nice but when i just see that green i don't even look at it too much let's talk about brands i'm working with right now so um fashion wise i'm working with workshik akara if you'd have seen some of my um posts on instagram you'll see yeah uh, like the yeah, an akara brand based in lagos but they are tailored to work in the working lady so i think it's time a piece and i try to style it um in five different ways because i think that's just the most sensible way to actually work with brands i'm also working with femlox guys femlox like i don't even know these people have just taken care of my wardrobe since probably february you know so they um, send you you actually shop for free on their uh, online um, thingy and then i negotiated a way that they'll pay me for my instagram post as well i'm trying to do blog posts but to be honest nobody's reading blogs these days like right? it's just crazy the only sensible thing on my blog right now is when i travel and give people tips and like guide and, and you know stuff no one's really reading blogs everything is really happening on instagram so uh, right now when i charge i just charge for instagram posts i, I will sh my share on my facebook or whatever but it's mostly um, instagram i charge brands for um who else am i working with right now and that's about it really okay then skincare obviously i'm working with this on skin so what i'm doing with my skincare i did a video last week on my instagram basically eka naturals and the body shop for summer as i'm using a lot of the exfoliator because eka naturals um, exfoliator is really nice it's not that strong or destroying so i use it two times a week now because it's a bit more humid and there's more oil coming from my skin normally i'll do it once a week but i did times body shop um sunscreen lotion i use the serums the two of them there's one the um, light of day yeah the drop of light one so i use this during the day the tea tree one at night you should just watch that video on instagram it shows the products and how i use them that's about it for my personal self is there any other thing i really want to tell you guys okay so as i said this is what i'm reading this morning i really need to summarize a lot of things it taught us that will inculcate it more all right so let's talk love island before we talk love island we're going to go to the past season so the past two seasons i had to quickly watch them the first one the couple that won were a couple from the, the beginning you know they never dated anyone i can't even remember their names but the girl was really really noisy bouncy kind of like las vegas and the guy was also very annoying sometimes but they won her his parents liked her then the second season i can't remember who won but i remember there was this olivia and alex 
the Alex had hooked up with someone else, the girl that lost her crown, yes, her Miss British, this GB crown. She had hooked up with him and that actually made her lose her crown, imagine, because anyway, let's not go into that. So yeah, Olivia and Alex, they've been like really strong. I see them on the ground everywhere. They've been working really successful and stuff. And then the third season, which was the one um, I watched last year, then Jai from East Center, his daughter was on it and then she won with her boyfriend on the show. She met him there. They never coupled up with any other person. They were together as well and then they became boyfriend and girlfriend outside, but I don't, I don't think they're together anymore. Okay, Laura and Paul came second. Laura was someone who had dated quite a number of people. It was obvious she was looking for love, but probably doing it the wrong way. But yeah, she was really fit, like she was 29, but like really skinny, really slim. In fact, all the girls were really fine. And then she ended up hooking up with a Paul who came like towards the end of the show. I don't know if they're still together right now. And then we had Josh and Kaz. So those were the black couple, very beautiful. Josh had a blue Danny. I think it was Danny Abby. Danny, the girl that was always saying. So if you ever, when you're watching this one, I'll be here, like, I'm, I'm low you, I'm low you. It was from a girl who was called, I think it was Danny, who, like, had always saying, I'm low you, I'm low you. Meanwhile, she kissed someone's boo and, you know, just lying about it and stuff. So she's just long. And then Megan and Wes. Megan and Wes were, they were beauty to look at. I mean, Wes was quite young, like 21 or something. Megan was maybe 25. She had dated quite a number of guys on the show, but, you know, ended up saying Wes was the one, Wes was the one. And I think till today, guys, I think they moved to where Megan lives. I don't know what city is, but yeah, I think till today it's actually going really strong. And there were other couples like Elle and the other dude, I can't remember his name. I think they're doing very well. Even Zara and Adam, they're doing very well right now. All of them are doing very well bank wise, like money wise, they're working and stuff. And then we had Sami Samia, Samira, which was a black girl. She hooks up with this guy. I think they're supposed to be dating, but he came out of the house like two weeks. He already cheated on her and stuff. So I think she's single and stuff, but she's still making her coins and everything. That's a good thing about Love by Lancha. When you come, it's kind of like exposes you more and then you start making money. You know, Lua Josh. Oh, God, Josh is doing well. He had the suffer chick. And I don't know they're still together, but I know he's always up and about. Like on YouTube, I see him everywhere, literally. So let's go into the people for this year. So this year, they have released 12 people. Usually, they release um, a certain amount of people and then people couple up coupling they bring two people they bring two people they take people out you know but the first set of people that come together just like when you join a job you and all the people that train together you guys are kind of like you have kind of a bond so something like that so this first set of people are 12 we have five girls and then seven guys probably they'll bring in two girls in or whatever we're gonna have to watch it but i just want you guys to meet the cast i'm gonna show you their instagram pages so you can catch up with them because i don't use any pictures from itv side because i don't need any problem on my channel so i'm just gonna call their names for you guys and then you get to know them let's start with the girls obviously first girl on my list is anna vakili anna is 28 and she's from london she works as a pharmacist the second girl is lucy rose donovan Lucy is 21 years old. She's from UK and she's a surfer. She says she's more of a guy's girl. She's different. She's not like the average girl you see on Love Island, but she's so into personal well-being as well as she does how to be glam. Next on my list is Amber Rose. I'm talking about Amber Rose. <laughs> I think she's also Amber Jill. Maybe that's her surname, but probably, probably her first name is Amber Rose. Anyway, she's 21 and she's from Newcastle. She's a beauty therapist as well. Next on my list is Yewan De. <laughs> Omo Naijani. <laughs> Yewan De is 23. Her surname is Biala and she's from Dublin. She's just easy to get along with. She's funny. She's caring. And she can be a dramatic. Yeah, that's not too far fetched. <laughs> and the fifth girl is Amy Hart. Amy Hart is 26 and she's from Warthin. She's also an air hostess, guys. And then on her Instagram, there's this um, caption she left. So I'm going to show you guys. Team Gatwick for life. I think she actually quit her job now for this. Or maybe other things she wants to pursue in life. But yeah, Amy Hart. Big up, girl. So let's go to the guys. And the first guy on my list is Curtis Pritchard. Curtis is 23 and he's from Shropshire. He says he's great to be around. He's fun. Blah, blah, blah. Next on the list is Callum McLeod. Callum is 28 and he's from South Wales. He's an aircraft engineer. He said he's just a genuine normal guy who just wants a regular laugh. We guess who's number three? Sharif Larry. <laughs> oh, what Sharif Larry is 20 and he's from London. He said he's upbeat and outrageous. He's a single thing. Single thing. Imagine you calling yourself single thing already. <laughs> he's on a mission to make people laugh. Let's hope his jokes are interesting. 
Last on my list is Anton Danilok. He's 24. And he's from Scotland. Anton is funny, hardworking, and really motivated, but he can be moody, selfish, and an overthinker. For some reason, I'd missed Michael when I was recording. Anyway, next is Michael, 27, from Liverpool. He's a firefighter. He says, I'm a hero who doesn't love their own local superhero. He also describes himself as open, energetic, straight-talking, and fun. Next, we have Tommy Fury. He's 20. He is from Manchester. Well, Tommy is a boxer, guys. I think Tommy is really popular because when I looked at his Instagram, I saw plenty of followers. So he's like he's been boxing professionally for a while and he's trying to find love now. Last guy is Joe Gareth. He's 22 and he's from East London. He's a catering company owner. Big ups, bro. He's fun, a bit romantic and laid back, but he can be quite indecisive. Oh my god. He's going to waste our time when he's trying to couple up or couple up. Anyway, guys, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me go to work now. By the way, this is my jacket for the summer. <laughs> it's an oasis one i sell on ebay a lot most of my pair of stuff are there so sometimes they're even still with the tag because i probably just use them to do pictures and all so i'll leave my ebay link as well so you guys check it out but most of the shipping is within uk please i can't go all the way to nigeria it's a bit too expensive and it's to be worth it because i give all the things for like dresses and um, sets less than 10 pounds i put them on there thank you so much for watching see you guys on the next video be good to yourself oh don't forget to subscribe <laughs> please subscribe to my channel click the like button right now like click 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 and thank you so much for even staying to this time because this video is long so subscribe and i'll see you when i see ya